Hi guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. According to where you are watching from, thank you for always supporting me and choosing Roger's Curious channel. As a young content creator, I'm happy of you guys and I'm so humbled. So today I have a story, a little story to tell. And right, right now I'm standing uh, in Migori town. Right now I'm standing in Migori town. And as I have been saying on my previous videos, I was raised here. And I started, I went to school in, in Migori uh, place here, our town, until uh, 2008. That's when I shifted or I decided no. Now I'm a grown up, I can do my own things. I decided to go to Kisi Town. Since then, I've been living in Kisi Town uh, until today that I decided to visit this place. So, on this video, I'm going to give you a little story here, and then after I will take you to where I, I went to a primary school, my school, which is a primary school, and I just stay tuned, and you will see many, many things here. So, I saw today. Yes, which is all I'm going to tell you. Oops! Let me turn the camera, guys. So, there. This is Migori River. This is Migori Town River. This is a river, as you can see. It's, it's a huge one. Or a big one. It's not that small river. It's a, a, a big river. And this river, for uh, those who don't know, guys, when it, it rains, the water, water becomes uh, big or uh, grows to those places over there, as you can see, where those uh, dirty things are. And even all on the, to those walls. And over there, even across to that where there is a some houses there guys so this river is not that small it's just very big it's very big and especially when uh, we are uh, it's a rain season and another thing it has some crocodiles this river used to have some crocodiles so i don't have that uh, uh, idea if the crocodiles are still uh, at this place or not so and let me turn on the other side that's on the other side guys you see that's where people uh, walk on the other side. But here, this is a road who heads to Nyabuanze. For those who know Nyabuanze village, or Sirare, or Tanzania. And on the other side, yeah, that's the road to heads to Kisi town. So, our Nairobi. So, uh, I'm using my pair hands, holding the phone. Since I fear losing it, or it may fall, when I'm using the usual seat, this one, let me show you. I fear using this one. I, I don't trust this one, guys. I cannot trust this one, uh, holding my phone, while uh, I can see that deepness, and there's water there. You see? Yes, this is Migori, guys. So, this sword now comes like this. By then, I was uh, around 13 years old. I think I was around 13 years old. I cannot remember the year, but I think I was about 13 years old. And I was like, yeah, I was 13 years old by then. So, you know, in this community, uh, the community of this land, that's in Igori, uh, mo uh, those people are lakeside people. They are lakeside. Those are Luos. Uh, yeah, Migori is uh, occupied by uh, uh, Luo people. So, they are uh, lake, uh, we call them lakeside people. They, they live near lakes and they do much about uh, fishing and about lakes. So, and as I was raised here, I was also in that culture. So, 
Most of these people here, yeah, or this community, knows of how to swim. Many people, many people here yeah, from this community knows of how to swim. So it came a time, as we were kids, for us we used to just go and swim on small lakes, uh, not lakes, small rivers, uh, around our village, you know. Where, my, uh, where I was born and raised is not far away from this place where I am standing now. So, we used to go there uh, on small rivers, have our fun you know, by swimming, dancing in the waters, and many, so, so, so many things. So it came a day whereby our neighbor, neighbors, so uh, on that time we were with, um, many, uh, we have many Somali community in this place. We have so many community people, and even from where I'm standing, I can see a mosque there. Within there, let me zoom it. You see? That's a mosque. That's a mosque. So, in most cases, this place is occupied by uh, Muslims. We have many Muslims here. We have Christians. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Hindus. So, we have different types of uh, religions here. And it came at a time. Uh, when I was schooling, in a primary level, we were having some uh, Arabs and uh, some people from some other land community, young boys and the girls who were born here, and they are originates from uh, Somalia. So it came a day, they, are, they were our neighbors, and they were bigger than me. They were like 15 to 20, others who were still in school, secondary schools, primary schools, so far. So it came a day, they told me, with my brother, Rogers, we have been swimming on these small rivers. Now we need to go to a big river, since we all know how to swim. And I said, oh, why not? Because I trusted myself in swimming. Guys, I know how to swim. I know how to swim. But I have taken wrong now. It has, uh, it's uh, uh, around uh, 20 years. Not 20 years, no, 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 I'm right. It's around uh, 15 years since I uh, swim. So I have never swimmed for over 15 years. So I don't know if I'm capable of swimming right now or not. And I remember my one leg was broken. Uh, so I don't know if I can, I can swim. So guys, uh, uh, those friends, all the young boys, told me, oh Rogers, now we need to visit Migori uh, River. Since it's not far away from where I'm standing, uh, that's our home. It's not far away from this place. And I was like, yeah, now we can give it a try. And uh, I have a younger brother who was around uh, 10 years by then. If I was 15, my brother could be uh, 10 years. Since I'm older than him uh, uh, by three years. So we said, yes, let us go and give it a try. And. We all came, we were, you know, when we are kids, we, uh, not one, we are, we are so many kids, we were like 20 people of us. Not 200. And we decided to come. Uh, some of us were with some bicycles, some were not with, uh, with bicycles, so we tried our best and reached here. Then it was an evening time, and I remember well, it was on a weekend. So we came, just uh, easily like that. And guess what? We just entered uh, to the river. Let me show you. Yes. Yes. We decided to to swim, and this is the place. This is the point. Not even the place. This is the where we we swim, the guys. Do you see where that person is? Let me zoom it. Who is harvesting Sunday? The, uh, the red, uh, with, uh, the person with the red t-shirt. Yes, that's where we uh, we were swimming, and by then, waters were so 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 uh, huge. The water surrounding was very huge, so we decided, oh, why not? Let us try because uh, we trust ourselves and we all know how to swim. And you know, as kids, we don't have uh, any idea of any danger that is coming. So as kids, 
we removed our clothes and jumped uh, into the river. As we were swimming, I, as we were swimming, we were enjoying ourselves. Uh, for those who knows of how to swim, uh, and uh, with a lot of experience, all who have been used to swim on this river, decided, you know, we were swimming on, how do you say? Uh, not uh, to the middle, just on sides, on sides. We were trying our best, our lucky on sides, swimming on the sides, sides. But uh, others who are bigger than us were just swimming on the middle. Uh, so we were, all of us, we were enjoying, and we were about 20 uh, kids who came from Onyaro village. And here we have, uh, we found that there were others who were also uh, swimming. So as we were swimming, guys, those big, big boys, the big boys. Two of them came to me, and I didn't know the idea or their plans. They just came, guys. They just came. As they were swimming, not even walking, they were also swimming. And I was also swimming. They just came. And since I was a little bigger than others, I was like 13 years, they decided to capture me. <laughs> and. Without knowing what, the, what was their plans, they took me to the middle, guys. They took me to the middle. And by then, waters were very, very, very huge. And because of that fear, since I have never swimmed on this kind of river, the big river, yeah, I tried, uh, I, I was trying to swim. I was just trying to swim. And they pulled me, they pulled me into the middle, and they left me there. Imagine. And since they were also young, I know they, they are thinking uh, capacity was silly below the average, <laughs> if I may say so. Uh, they didn't know how dangerous uh, it was by taking me to that uh, deep waters. They didn't know. Yes, yes. They didn't know how deepness that uh, uh, was. How, how, how dangerous it was by taking me on that deep water. So they took me there and they left me there. And the good thing, I knew, uh, I was uh, having that knowledge of uh, swimming. I was having that knowledge of swimming. So I decided to swim. I was just swimming, enjoying myself, swimming, swimming. But on those deep waters, I was not able to swim as usual. I was not able to swim as usual. You know, on, on sides or where there's little water, you can swim and it reaches a uh, time you can even stand because you may be water not that uh, full, so you can even stand and sew yourself up. So they took me a place where I couldn't even manage to stand. Uh, guys, guess what happened? I drank water. I drank water. I was like, ooh, help me! Ooh, and they were just thinking that I was joking. You see? They thought I was just joking. While I was in danger. I, whoa, guys, help me, help me. Oh, whoop, oh, whoop. And while I was drinking water. Uh, thereafter, as I was swimming, you know, uh, it's more good that I was having that little knowledge of how to swim and how I can go uh, into water and stop breathing for some minutes. So I stopped breathing there. And inside water, I tried to do like this swimming. And in a good lucky, I, go, I went and found a big stone on that middle of the water where I was. I found a, a stone. And I swam over to the stone and stood there. So I was standing on, on the stone. Guess what, guys? After these guys discovering that now I'm at a good place, and I'm now safe. I now I was looking for for a way how I could jump from all that middle. Let me show you once again. So I was looking, or I was uh, trying my best. You know, it's on the middle. I'm on the middle. So and I know about to swim. So I was calculating of how I would jump. I will try my best to jump all the way from the middle there, almost to the end of the river. I saw them all still coming to me. And 
You know, the road is this here, guys. The road is this. Is. So, they still swim to me. They still came to me. And they still wanted to take me back to the water. So, guys, guess what? With my idea of how to swim, that little idea, I jumped. I jumped. As they were near to catch me, I jumped over them. And boom! I reached almost at the end. And literally, I swimmed just a few, 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 few seconds. Boom! I was out of the water. You know what? <laughs> Let me show you. Uh, that place there, over there, where there is some uh, jerkans there, that was the way. And it has been there for all that long. So I decided to run towards that place. I ran, and where there is, uh, there, there is another way there, where there is a billboard. There, you can see that motorbike over there. Me on, yeah, there's a motorbike coming from there. So I ran over there, coming towards this place here. So running back to home. And guess what? When I was running, I was totally naked. <laughs> totally naked, guys. <laughs> Since I was a kid. So I didn't even go to Bota take my cross. I didn't even bother to take my cross. All I did, and even my brother, when after my brother, my younger brother discovering that I, I was in danger, uh, he ran out of water. He ran out of water. So uh, he also decided to run with me. When he saw me running, he also decided to run with me. So we decided to run home naked, guys. <laughs> I was a 13 years old boy, and already I was circumcised. But since I was in danger, and still that knowledge of uh, being uh, just uh, like um, still a kid, I decided to just run like that. Oops! Guess what? It was a marathon. It was a marathon. We ran. We ran. We ran. Until we reached home. And I was naked. We were naked. Not my, only me. Even my brother. We were naked. So, that's all guys. And that thing can never be removed from my head or my mind. I will remember all that thing in my entire life. Then since then, I became an expert of swimming. Later on now, I came up with those friendly, who are now friendly boys, and, and we were swimming even with the girls. We were swimming boys and girls, both of us, since we were just kids. And the, another thing is that we were just swimming naked, guys. We were just swimming naked. Imagine. We didn't, not even having an idea of remaining with our pants uh, on us. So we were just swimming. We All we knew is that when we are swimming, you just swim when, when you are naked. It's like you are batting. batting. So when you are batting, you have to be naked. So that's, that's our, uh, that was the idea on us. So guys, I remember even I left my uh, clothes here. Uh, it's only that uh, another young, who is uh, a young boy who is also who was our neighbor, came with our clothes uh, home. So that's our story, guys. Let us uh, say here, as I'm going to give you, a, give, keeping to give you a story uh, about the experience uh, of the Gori town where I was born and raised. So stay tuned. We continue to another uh, uh, story. Yes. I'm still taking you around Migori town. I'm at a, a posa. Posa. This is Migori posa ground. I'm going to show you there. And this is an roundabout, guys. Let me show you. This is a roundabout. This is a roundabout here, guys. This is a roundabout. And this, uh, this road here directs you to the PC officers and police station. Another one there directs you to Tanzania or uh, to the border. This one here directs you to Kisi Town and Nairobi or Kisumu. Another one there, there's another one goes down there. There's another one that goes down there, guys. Uh, which uh, goes to Nyasare. That one goes to Ernst Nyasare. So, this is how this place looks like. And behind here, behind the uh, 
Yeah, we have, uh, as you can see, we have another beautiful house there. There. So, I remember those days when we were young. By then, there was an, um, an, a pastor by the name Kiande. Kiande is known here in Kenya with many people. Uh, he's a musician and he's a gospel uh, singer. Uh, he has got some main music uh, uh, about our gospel. So I remember on those places, uh, in this place, where as we were, if we want to go to DC, when we want to have an ID, uh, identification, that's ID, that's an identification, uh, identification card, and you could just go this way. This way here, that's where you could find. And I remember very well, and I see the field is still on intact. I remember this field here, behind me there you can see some cars over there. Those are Ubers or taxis, taxi. Those are taxi. Those are taxi. And my uncle, one of my uh, mom's brother, one of my brother, uh, one of, uh, one of, even in fact the youngest one, the last born of our mom, the last born of our mom, was doing taxi. And I remember as I was a young boy, I was being, I was coming here and enjoying a, a ride from him. I was enjoying a ride from him since he was doing a taxi, going around with the cars. So I was also like, hmm, you know, that feeling of a kid that you want to be... You know, uh, in Africa, yeah, uh, in Africa, yeah, uh, we are not that so much developed like uh, other countries as, uh, or other continents uh, such as uh, Europe, America, uh, Asia. You see? We are not that much uh, developed, and as but in, uh, right now uh, we are developing uh, slowly. Slowly, Africa now is developing. Uh, Africa is coming back to their senses. Now people are just working hard. People are just trying. The governments are trying to do good things. Uh, we want to manage things and do everything uh, nice things so to make sure that we are not left behind. Even the buildings nowadays in Africa here, yeah, the buildings are not the same as those one, old ones. So people are developing. Even the roads, as you can see from this, uh, even the roads, uh, the roads here, guys. We have quality roads, quality roads. Not like many years ago. Nowadays in Africa, we also try our best to have quality roads. We have quality roads. Yeah, the roads that we live or live for many, many, many years. So. As a kid, I was coming here to Migori Posta. That's it, we was called Migori Posta. So the Migori Posta, uh, the Posta is behind there. And the Posta of all of you knows, maybe Posta is where you can send your radar, whatever, all, all that kind of things. And many years ago, you know, we even didn't have uh, phones many years ago. And we were just having those uh, land calls and uh, those boots, phones, or those, uh, how do you call those phones? There are those phones that a person could just enter in and make a call, and they were in many places, many places, in many places. And here, even here, there were some of them. I remember that. I was even coming there and making a call. And in many of those, in many, uh, on those years, when we were making a call, even uh, the person we were calling, uh, he, he was not having a phone. You just call and tell the, another person from on that, another side who is, was taking care of that thing. Uh, that, <laughs> you know, it was so difficult, guys. It's not uh, like these days. You know how those things were working. So I remember coming to this, uh, this field and enjoying myself on uh, those years, as I was saying, we were not having many cars uh, like now. We have Africa now are having cars. People are determined. People are buying cars. People are doing many, many, many things. And by then, uh, few people that you can count. Uh, even in a village, in a, in an entire, you can find even three villages. No one has a, a car there. In some of the villages, so you just find one person in like 200 uh, houses you find one person with a, uh, a car, imagine. Uh, so I was saying, on those days, uh, as a kid, 
we were not uh, uh, allowed to be walking like nowadays. You know, nowadays people have some freedom. People are disposed. People are disposed. And so I was coming to this place and enjoying the ride from my uncle, who is uh, a brother to my mom. I was coming to this place and having uh, that enjoyment of a ride. I was, uh, when is, uh, a person comes and takes a taxi, I was also in there and enjoying. And by then, guys, it was just uh, using a little money, like 100 shillings, and you are taken uh, with a taxi in a, a well uh, distance place. So, it's a story, guys. When I'm in Migori, I remember my childhood feelings so those feelings of child as i was a kid comes back i feel those feelings and i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it guys so stay tuned guys as we continue this is migori town and i'm at migori uh posa that's a posa as i told you this guy the road here takes you to the police station or dc and the other one there takes you to Migori County, that's Nyabuhanse, where Maro comes from. Another one here takes you to Nyasare. I remember those names here, Nyasare. And I, this one takes you to Kadika. I remember the name Kadika Grammar School, where we were going there and playing football as the kids. And this one here takes you back to my town, Kisi town. And also Rongo and Nairobi. You can use this one, the same, same road. So guys, Stay tuned as we continue taking me around Migori. As kids, guys, as kids, I'm talking a sort of when I was a kid. As kids, I remember coming to this uh, this place doing shopping. We were coming to this place doing our shopping. Those shops here, this one here, you see. This was a shop and we were doing our shopping from this place and let me turn this camera to the other side and another one there and over there those buildings you see over there all of those buildings belongs to uh, Kisi people they, uh, the people who occupy those shop, shops both, both those, uh, those shops this shop here and this one here and their homes are behind those you see those homes over there their houses you are seeing behind there let me zoom you see those houses here those houses belongs to some of our Kisi people community who bought those lands they bought those lands and over there that one also and over there those ones uh, the one here at the middle where there, uh, there is some wires on the perimeter wall, she was our teacher. She was our teacher. And this one here was his brother. You see? And over there, that's their other uh, family. So the at this place, at this place, guys, there were so many uh, Kisi community who bought land. Many years ago, many years ago, I'm told they bought this land not less than 50 years ago. Like when I visited my grandmom, there's a grandmom here, I visited her and she told me that they bought the land in 19, uh, uh, 1983. So 1983, that was, uh, that's uh, around uh, 40 years. You see, that's about 40 years, not even about, it's 40 years since they bought that land. So, and those, uh, uh, for your own information, the Kisi community have been living here for, for many, 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 many years. And they have done a lot of development here. Like I have shown you, like over there, those houses, beautiful houses there, you see. Over there. And this one here, this one belongs to Akisi. And also, as you can see from the other side there, all those houses belong to uh, the community. Kisi community. If only they have already sold them. If only if they have already disposed of them or have sold them. But uh, in many years, those are the Kisi community that bought this land 
and we were doing shopping at this place. You see, at this place. I'm taking you uh, on the other place. This place is called Kimaiga. We call it. We used to call it Kimahiga place. Uh, so it is. Oh, oh, it is. It is still there, guys. Let me show you. 1986. Oh ho ho ho. You see. Let me show you. Kimahiga House. 1986. You see. 1986. That's when that man bought. I am 100%. That's when he bought that land, and that's why he is writing Kimahiga House and uh, 1986. Uh, probably that's when he bought the land, or that is when the buildings were built. You see, so and he is from Kisi, and he is from Kisi, and most of uh, this Kisi community guys, bro. Like I said, I'm from Ki uh, I'm from Kisi. I'm a Kisi boy. But I'm married to a Luo. You see? You see? So, um, let us continue, guys. Let us continue. Uh, you see this uh, petrol season, guys? You see this petrol season? This petrol season, guys, it used to be of a kissy man. This petrol season. And I have a sort of this petrol season, guys. Uh, by then, um, this is where we used to uh, fetch, is it fetching or taking our paraffin? You know by then there, were, um, not, uh, there was no electricity many years ago. Many places or many places we were not having electricity. Electricity came just in uh, some of uh, later on. But in many those years there were no electricity and many people were using the how do you call paraffin? We are using paraffin, and this is where we were taking our uh, uh, fuel from. Uh, or uh, is it? Uh, how do you call it? Kerosene. Yeah. This is where we were taking our kerosene from to use. Yeah. And this petrol season here, now I see it written Ola Energy. By then was called Pepo. It was called the Pepo Petrol Station. I remember very well. I remember it very, very, very well. So this is where we were taking our petrol station, uh, our kerosene from, as you can see. And blessed me. You see, there is another house which is very old over there. That one. I don't know what happened with that house, guys. As I was a kid, that house was just like that. When I was a kid, that building was just like the way it is until now. I don't know if the owner died, and if, if the owner died, I don't know why it did not uh, continue. Uh, his children or his brothers and other siblings, why did, didn't they continue building it? It has been like that all that long, all that long, many, many, many years. It has no windows, it has no doors, it has been just like that. It, uh, the owner was building it. It has not. It has never been finished. Now it's like uh, 25 years ago, guys. Just 25 years ago. And the reason behind that, I don't know. And here, guys, I'm at Banana. Oh, um, that feeling. Oh, um. <laughs> so I'm at Banana, guys. And I have that feeling of being home, guys. I have that feeling of being home. Totally, I'm at home, guys. This is where I was raised. I was born and raised, guys. So, this is the surrounding of uh, uh, the center. It's a small center. It's not that big. But, uh, I, will move, uh, I will move to the other side and show you. Maybe I can zoom. You see? Ah, we have a beautiful house there. Oops! One day, my dreams are buried, guys. I will build. I will build. You see the other one there? You see? You see? So, let us move there. Let us move there. Let us go there. Let us go there. Let us... Oops, guys. I'm at Banana, guys. I can see Mama Sharon's shop. I can see some shops here. Let me turn the camera on. Oops. You see? This is banana estate. We were having a, an estate here where uh, people could just uh, rent and the houses were called the banana estates. 
banana essence. You see? And all those shops were here. They are shops of many, many, many years. This is where we were doing shopping, guys. This is where we were doing shopping. This is where we were buying our things, sugar, whatever things we need. This is the place. And it's called Banana. After long years, guys, I visited back Banana. And around here, guys, as I told you, we have so many Kisi communities. Yeah, so, and as I have told you earlier, in this place here, we have so many Kisi communities, guys. We have so many, many Kisi communities. Kisi community have been take, uh, living here for many years, many, many, many years. And the relationship between our community, that is Kisi community and the Luo community, is very nice. You know other places, there is those wars of tribes, a tribe fighting another tribe, a tribe fighting, a community fighting another community, a community fighting another community. But for us, the Kisi community and the Luo community, we enjoy that uh, that we are brothers. We enjoy that brother, uh, brothers. Uh, yeah. So guys, I'm at Banana. As you can see, this is the Banana. This is the uh, and uh, let me zoom it. You see? Do you see where those bikes are? are? Do you see the, those uh, bikes? That's the way to our home. That's the way to our home. Where the bikes are, those bikes, where that one, the orange one, the person with an orange t-shirt has read. Let us move there. Let us move there. So guys, you see this road here? You see this road? It takes you to our home. This road here, guys. You see? Baba. Uh, so guys this is the road to our home as you can see and this one here goes directly to the border that's the Marwa place and on the other side it takes you directly to Kisi County and as you can see the surrounding over here guys this is the surrounding here we have some nice buildings here. Oops. So, enjoy guys. Enjoy. Maybe, maybe guys, I don't want this video to be very long. Maybe I wanna end it right now. I will end it now, until next time. I will do another one which I will be showing you our home. I will show you my school, where I went. And so many, many, many other videos coming. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you for always coming and uh, supporting Roger's Killers channel. Much blessings. Love you, people. Love you. Share my videos. Like, comment. Much blessings. Much blessings. Until next time, blessings. Blessings. I'm gonna meet some of my long-time friends, such as those who are when we were kids, which were when we went to school. I will bring the video. Bye, bye, guys. Bye.